This is OpenStack Physics Chapter 8, problem number 48. So I have a bowling ball going towards a bowling pin, and I drew this tried to be a pin, and then I said, screw it, the pin's going to be a ball. I'm not going to draw it as a pin anymore because that's not good. Uh, so the, the ball is coming in, it hits the pin, and then the pin deflects at an 85 degree angle with a speed of 15 meters per second. So the question asks, what's the velocity of the ball, the bowling ball after the collision? Um, and then was it elastic? And then what? Well, there's a question about kinetic energy, but I'll, I'll address that in a second. Okay, so here's what we have. Bowling ball starts off with a mass, it still has a mass, of 5.5 kilograms, uh, a velocity of 9 meters per second. And I wrote this as a vector, okay? I want to write it as a vector, and I'll show you why. And then the bowling ball, the pin has a mass of 0.85 kilograms, and it's deflected at an 85 degree angle with a 15 meter per second velocity. Okay, so we, we obviously, this is a conservation momentum question. It's obviously, it's two dimensional, so it gets a little tricky. This one's not too bad. Um, elastic two dimensional collisions, those get tricky, okay. But in this case, if we know two of the velocities, we're just trying to find the other one, it's not too bad. So of course we need to define our system. Let's get rid of that stuff, I don't know what that is. So our system, because you can't do conservation of momentum until you say what the system is. It's gonna be the ball plus the pin. And so in that case, right before the collision, right after the collision, there's no external forces acting on the system, so momentum would be conserved. And I'm gonna write that as P1 equals P2. So that's the initial momentum is equal to the final momentum. Okay, so let's write that out as a vector. So the initial momentum is gonna be, I'm gonna write it explicitly, the mass of the ball, velocity of the ball one, right, that's the bowling ball before the collision, plus the mass of the pin, velocity of the pin before the collision, and that's gonna be equal to the mass of the ball, velocity of the ball after the collision, plus mass of the pin, velocity of the pin, after the collision. And you notice those are all vectors, and that is important. Yes, one of those is zero. So the zero one, the zero vector one is this, right, because it's not moving before the collision, so that makes it a little bit easier. Okay, I've already have the mass, I already have this as a velocity vector, nine x hat. Um, I don't know the velocity of the ball afterwards, but let's write this as a vector. If this is, and I picked it going down, it doesn't really matter. I'm picking this as my x direction. So the velocity of the pin afterwards is gonna be 15, and then I need the x component, which is right here. So that's a right triangle. We can do our, our components of velocity. The x component's gonna be cosine 85. Cosine 85 x hat plus minus 15 sine 85 y hat. So it's going in the negative y direction, so I put that negative sign there, and the opposite side is sine. Remember, y is not always sine. It depends on how you draw the picture. But now I have that velocity. So one way to treat this uh, is to, to just break this into an x equation and a y equation. So I can break this into p1x equals p two x, the total momentum in the x direction before is afterwards, and in the y direction too, p one y, p two y. So let's just write just the, uh, the x equation. So in the x equation, I have the mass of the ball, the velocity of the ball, one x. I know it's getting kind of messy, but trust me, it's better. And that's gonna be equal to the mass of the ball times the velocity of the ball, two x, which I don't know, plus mass of the pin, velocity of the pin to x. I know that, 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 I just don't know the velocity, so, but I can solve this for the velocity. Let's do that, and it's only gonna give me the x velocity. I'm gonna subtract this from both sides and divide by the mass of the ball, all in one fell swoop. B to x, the x velocity after the collision. It's gonna be equal to mb v b 1x minus this m p v p 
2x, all of that divided by mb. And you'll notice that the, the units are going to work out and it's going to be all fine and dandy. Let's put in our values. 9, no, 5.5 is a mess. 5.5 times 9 minus 0.85 times 15 cosine 85. All of that divided by 5.5. And let's just get that over here. I'm going to put it as my x component right there. Okay. So calculator time on drop 5.5 enter 9 times 0.85 enter 15 times 85 cosine times minus and then I'm going to divide by 5.5 and I get 1.43 x hat and I'll leave the units at the end. Okay, now we can do the y equation. So it's the same idea where it's going to, I'm just going to change these to uh, y, y, y and it's a little bit easier y y y okay so because the initial y velocity is zero so i get zero i'll just put the whole thing as zero now i still want to solve for that so i can do that quite simply uh, v b to y is equal to m p v p to y divided by m b so it's going to be 0 0.85 times 15 sine 85 negative. Oh, this is negative. Yeah. I'm <laughs> so I was looking at it, I'm like, the y, they're both going to have a negative y velocity. It's negative times a negative. This is negative. So I'm just going to, negative times a negative is going to be positive. 85. Okay. And then divide by. 5.5. Put that in our calculator. Drop, drop. Okay. 0.85, enter. 15 times. Oops, drop. 85 sine times 5.5 divided by. I get 2.3 plus 2.3 y hat meters per second. So that's my final velocity. Now the question said, what's the magnitude and direction? I am happy with this answer because it's, it is, but we'll, we'll find, we'll find the magnitude. We need it anyway. So I'm going to put that right here. I'm not going to find the angle because I don't really care. So VB to magnitude is going to be VB. Well, it's just going to be this square plus that square square rooted. So let's just do that 2.3 squared. And then I have, 1.43 squared plus square root. And I get 2.72. Okay. Now, is this an elastic or inelastic collision? To answer that question, we need to see what the kinetic energy is before and after the, the collision. Um, okay. I don't need that. So let's calculate the kinetic energy before. It's one half mass of the ball, velocity of the ball one squared, right? So that's the magnitude of the velocity. Let's just go ahead and calculate that. One half, uh, 5.59 squared. 0.5, enter, 5.5 times, 9 squared times. I get 222.75 joules. Okay, afterwards, it's going to be 1 half mass of the ball times its uh, final velocity, 2.72 squared, plus 1 half mass of the pin, times its velocity squared. Now, if you wanted to do the x and the y components, you'd get cosine squared plus sine squared, which is 1. 
Okay, let's just put this in. I'm going to do it all in one fell swoop. So I have 0.5 enter uh, 5.5 times 2.72 squared times. And then I have 0.5 enter 0.85 times 15 squared times plus. And I get 116 joules. So the initial kinetic energy is 222, the final is 116. So is it elastic? No. But the question says linear kinetic energy is greater after the collision. That's not what I thought. Let's try it again. 0.5 enter 5.5 times 9 squared times. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's what I got. Okay. And then down here, drop, drop, 0.5, enter 5.5 times 2.72 squared times. And then 0.5, enter 0.85 times 15 squared times plus. I get one. Yeah, that's what I got. Okay. Maybe I made a mistake. But is it possible for the linear for for the kinetic energy to be greater after the collision? And the answer is yes. Right? If it's not an elastic collision, that doesn't mean that the kinetic energy decreases because there could be other forms of energy. They talk about the spin. So if you have this ball spinning, that's another type of, of energy. So after the collision, maybe it's not spinning as fast, so it lost some rotational kinetic energy. So it is indeed possible. Uh, and I think that's what they were trying to get at. And I might have made a mistake. I admit that. Number one, I admit that. But I think my method was fine. That's that.